a racket. I'm more of a blues and rock fan myself. That's got to be a tiring walk on. I'm surprised the guy's got any energy left to throw after that. With all that arm pumping and whatnot. Um, another look at how great players throw. And uh, this time, as you've guessed, it's Dirk van Dijvenbode. The 30-year-old Dutchman is a very colourful, intense character. Recently finished runner-up in the World Series Finals. Made the quarterfinals of the World Match Play. Also the quarterfinals of the last World Championships. And he's won a couple of Pro Tour events this year. He's currently ranked 13th on the PDC Order of Merit and he's established himself as one of the best players in the game. It's only a matter of time before he picks up a major title, in my opinion, and I'm pretty sure he'll remain in the top 16 for a good while. I love watching him play. He leaves it all out there. He's probably the most exciting player in the game at the moment, certainly from a, a spectator point of view. He's a bloody lunatic. You wouldn't say he goes about his business with a minimum of fuss, uh, but his throw itself is pretty simple. He's a bit of a rhythm player, likes to get on with it. And when he's pumped and he gets in his groove, he's a monster scorer. He goes absolutely berserk on the triple 20s. That's why he's one of the top 180 hitters in the game. In fact, I think he might be the most prolific maximum hitter this year. He also hits more 170 finishes than anybody else. Certainly likes a big finish and the 164 here that he hit against uh, Johnny Clayton. Great player. Big scorer. His grip is quite interesting. His finger and thumb hold the dart sort of mid to rear of the barrel. There's quite a lot of skin contact. His thumb runs along the barrel quite a bit. Uh, and on the other side of the barrel, it slots quite low down on the index finger in the groove between the phalanges. His second finger is folded over and the point presses into it. Quite a unique way of holding the dart, but it is very effective for him. Like many of the top players, he approaches the hockey with eyes on the target. And he lines up towards the right hand side of the hockey. This creates a slightly outside in throw, which obviously makes the left hand side of the board slightly further away than the right. Despite that, he's very nicely aligned, nice and straight. The front foot is square to the hockey, and there's a good line up through the body. His forearm's vertical. You'll notice that he sights the dart with his left eye, which means he's probably somewhat opposite eye dominant. Lovely follow through, everything's nicely in line from the eye through the shoulder through to the fingers, pointing directly at the target. You can't really fault the technique. From side on, you can see he's got a classic stance. As I said, his front foot square to the hockey, he leans slightly forward with the weight on his front foot. He's quite a tall chap, and he doesn't lose much height by over leaning or folding at the waist, and he's pretty solid. There's not a lot of movement. The back foot stays planted on the ground, so he's got a perfect solid base, keeps him nicely balanced, making it easier to focus all his energy on the throw mechanics any energy that he's got left or his walk on that is and it is a great throwing technique he keeps a nice high elbow he brings a dart back towards his eye and then the release and follow through to all the work there's no shoulder very little lift of the elbow it's all forearm and wrist a nice release and he's got that full relaxed follow through that i always preach about full extension of the arm he might look like he's just chucking them but he's a very consistent player for a reason his technique's fantastic He's practiced and perfected it, and now he's reaping the rewards of the many hours of practice that he's done. Now he can reproduce his throw over and over again in pressure situations, and he'll thrive under that pressure, and he'll continue to improve. Guys, thanks for watching. I've got plenty more of these coming, so please take a second to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you've got any ideas about stuff you'd like to see, leave those in the comments. I always read and reply. I appreciate the support. Happy darting, folks, and I'll see you next time.